Hi everyone, this is Dr. Yin Zhang of Dr. Scott Rodder's lab from Hospital for Special Surgery. And I'm speaking to you about our JBJ's article, SS31 as a mitochondrial protectant in the treatment of tendinopsy, evaluation in a murine supraspinatus tendinopsy model. As we all know, tendinopsy describes a spectrum of pathological process, including abnormalities in tendon structure, composition, and material properties, resulting in pain and reduced function. Recent studies have revealed risk factors, pathophysiology, and management of tendinopsy. However, the treatment failure and unpredictable outcome remain a challenge. To investigate rotator cuff tendinopsy, we developed a mirroring model using a tiny titanium clip placed under the chromium to induce the tendinopsy. Our previous work in our laboratory have found that mitochondrial dysfunction is correlated with the development of tendinopsy, which might be a mechanism of tendinopsy. Based on these findings, our co-author Dr. Hazel Zeto development developed a mitochondrial targeted peptide called SS31, which has been in clinical trials in other disease. Therefore, we would like to explore if SS31 could be effective in the treatment of tendinopsy. In this study, our data has demonstrated that SS31 have positive effect on mitochondrial number, structure, function, and gene expression, and also promote, promote the healing process of the injured mouse tendon. We combined the SS31 treatment and clip removal. The, he, the healing process showed the robust response. In conclusion, mitochondrial function might be a possible mechanism of tendinopsy. SS31 as a mitochondrial protected could pro improve the mitochondrial pr pr function and to promote the healing process of the injured tendon. This result suggested that mitochondrial function improvement could be a potential treatment strategy in the treatment of tendinopsy.